Okay, so the next thing I think we'll do is start getting some of this base in here. And uh, as you can see, this is pretty complicated uh, on the corners. Uh, so let's get that in there just so we uh, make sure we have enough time. Okay, so I think we'll start blocking this out a bit. Okay, so let's go into the uh, top view. And let's go into the crate panel. We'll grab a box. Let's just drag that out. Okay. And then we'll uh, right-click the Move Tool and zero out X and Y. Okay, and let's just move this down to the bottom. Okay, and we'll just line it up with the uh, the base here. Let's actually move it up a little bit. Okay, just like that. And let's figure out the radius of this. Okay, we don't have a lot of space between the... Uh, the main cylinder part here and the outside. So let's maybe let's do maybe 260 by 260, and we'll just do something like five or so for the height. Okay, let's just move this back up a bit. Okay, and I think we'll start working on the corner part. Um, and this is going to be the most difficult part of the entire launcher. Uh, this is a pretty complicated uh, piece of geometry. Okay, so we'll start blocking that out. So let's right click and convert this to edible poly. Let's go into edge. Okay, we'll just grab one of the corner edges here and do a ring. Right, and in the top view, let's go to chamfer. Okay, and let's just take this way up. Right, let's do maybe 35 or so on that and okay All right let's zoom in here a bit and we'll select these two edges here let's do a connect okay we'll just slide this down let's do about negative 80 on that and OK. And then we'll select these two edges here and do another connect. OK, and we'll just do that positive 80. OK. And let's go into Polygon and we'll select the three polys here on the corner. OK, and then we'll come down here and we'll detach. OK, and we'll do that as a clone and we'll just name it something like Corner. And OK. Then we'll turn off Polygon and we'll hit H. Okay, and we'll just uh, select our corner. All right, let me just change the color of this. Okay. And let's actually uh, right click and we'll just uh, hide this base piece actually for now. So let's select that and hide select it. Okay, so we just have these polygons uh, left. And the first thing we're going to do is just put a shell on this. Okay, to extrude it out, and we'll do that at an outer amount of say two maybe. And I think that should be uh, about what we're looking for. Okay, so let's actually center the pivot point on this. Okay. And let's right click and we'll collapse it down to edible pulley. Let's go into edge. Okay, we'll select the center edges here. Make sure you have ignore back facing turned off. We'll just do a connect on that with one segment, no pinch, no slide. Okay. And let's see, let's do a chamfer on that. All right. Let's bring this up a bit. Let's do maybe eight on the chamfer. And okay. Then we'll select an edge here and do a ring and a connect. All right. And we'll just do one segment right in the middle. And then we'll select these ones here and do another connect in the middle. Okay, let's select this one and this loop here and we'll loop those. Okay, so we just have both these edge loops selected. Okay, right around the back. Okay, let's chamfer these. We'll take this down a bit. Let's do maybe 5.5 on that. And okay. Then we'll come over onto the side here. 
Let's do a ring on that edge and a connect. Let's just push this down this way a bit. Okay, let's do about negative 70 and OK. We'll do the same thing on this side, ring and connect. And let's do positive 70. Okay. And let's see, let's... Let's do another ring on these edges here, both ends, and a connect. Okay, and we'll just do this one in the center. So one segment, no pinch, no slide. Okay, and then we'll chamfer. Okay, and let's do let's do about five on that maybe. Maybe a little bit smaller. Let's do four point five. Okay, and this will make sense in a second. Uh, let's just select an edge there, and this one here in the middle of this wide section. This one, this one, and this one. Okay, and then we'll do another ring, and a connect, and we'll just do one segment with no pinch, no slide. Okay, and then we'll chamfer. We'll take this down. Let's do let's do maybe a one on that. Okay. Then we'll select one of the vertical edges and do a ring. Let's connect that up with one segment. We'll just slide this up. And let's do maybe about 70 on the slide for that one. And okay. Right. So now let's go into polygon. We'll turn on our back facing. Okay, and we'll just select these polygons in the center, these ones on each side, okay, so just like that. Then we'll come over on the side here, let's grab these ones, and these ones, okay, just like that. And actually I think we chamfered the wrong edge there, let's just uh, go back into edge for a second. Let's select this one here, okay. The second one down from the corner. We'll do the same on this one. Okay, just the second one. And let's loop those and we'll chamfer that one. And we'll do that a one and okay. Then we'll go back into polygon. Okay, let's just deselect the end here and we'll deselect these ones. Okay, and then let's select these guys here. All right. We just don't want to have too much space down from the corner. All right, so I think I had that down a little bit too far. Okay, so just like that. Okay, and this isn't going to be exactly the same, but we'll try to get it somewhat of uh, a close shape to this. All right, and just to make this a little easier, let's actually deselect the middle polygons. All right, just so we have these sets selected. Okay, and we'll hit extrude. All right, let's see. Let's bring this out. Maybe. Let's do maybe about 12 or something on the extrusion for that, and OK. And then we'll select these middle ones here. OK. And we'll extrude this out. OK, let's bring this out a little bit farther. Let's do maybe 30 on that. Let's see if that looks about right. OK, let's actually do 25. Whoops. Sorry about that. Do that again. Do 25. Okay. Okay, so just like that. And now we'll select the end polygons, just the middle two, okay, on each extrusion. Okay. And then we'll extrude these out again. Okay, we'll take this way down. Let's do maybe. One point five or so, okay, and we'll hit apply and apply again and and okay, okay. So we got uh, three extrusions out of the ends, All right? Just like that. And you can see on this uh, reference picture, we kind of have it curving over and going down, okay. So let's grow the selection twice, okay, 
and then we'll control click vertex okay just to get the uh, ver vertices on the last three uh, loops select it okay we'll turn off and go back facing let's go into the front view and we'll just hold alt and deselect the bottom ones All right just so we have the top uh, one selected okay we're just going to move this down with the move tool on the Z just a bit okay just something like that okay then we'll go back to polygon and we'll shrink it once and then we'll control click ver uh, vertex again okay and then we'll just move these ones down a little bit more whoops make sure you deselect the bottom ones first okay so let's pull these down a little bit more like that And we'll go back to polygon again and let's just select the front polygon on each one of these okay front top one okay then we'll control click for uh, vertex again and we'll just move these down the rest of the way okay it's not going to be exact to the reference but um, that'll be similar okay so we'll just pull it down something like that okay and we still need to have these kind of tapering uh, towards the ends here. Okay, so let's go into the top view. We'll zoom in here. Okay, let's go over here on the end. We'll just select these uh, pairs of verts here. Okay, and then we'll go to scale. I'm going to switch my uh, coordinate system from view to local. Okay, and then we'll just scale on the X to taper these in a bit. Okay, like that. And then we'll select the next ones down and we'll taper those in. Okay, something like that. And we'll just keep going along, doing this uh, for each uh, one. Okay, and last one over here. Okay, just like that. Then we'll uh, change this back to view. Okay. And now we're probably going to need to turbo smooth this piece just because we wanted to uh, have somewhat soft corners. Um, and I don't think the smooth modifier will really help us out in this situation. Okay, so we're going to have to add quite a bit of support to this. So let's go into Edge. And let's go on the side here. We'll select the uh, edge on the top end and do a ring and a connect. Okay, we'll do two segments, no slide. We'll just pinch those out a bit. We'll do about 60 on that and OK. Then we'll select an edge on this uh, top of this main piece here. OK. We'll actually do that on each one of our extrudes. OK. And then we'll ring those. Right. And then we'll do a connect on this with two segments. And we'll just take this up a bit. Let's do maybe about. 92 or so on the pitch for that one and okay then we'll need one here at the ends of this uh, piece so let's select an edge here on the top of where it starts curving down okay we'll do that on each one okay and then we'll ring and we'll add another connect with one segment no pinch and we'll just slide this back a bit Okay, we'll do that about maybe negative 65 and OK. And then we'll do the same thing on the front here. Grab an edge on each one and ring and connect. OK, and we'll take this down to the other end. OK, do about 75 or so on the, the slide for that one and OK. And then we'll need to add some down the centers of these. Okay, so let's go in here. We'll select an edge here and here. Okay. So just on these uh, flared out pieces. Okay, we can actually just do it here to make it easier. Okay. Okay, so one on each side of each piece. Okay, then we'll do another ring. Okay, just so you have it like that. And then we'll do another connect. We'll do two segments, no slide, 
Yeah, we'll just pinch those out a bit. We can probably do that about 50. And okay. And then we need to uh, do ones down the centers as well. Okay, so we'll select an edge in the center. Okay, and then another ring and another connect. And we'll take this up a little bit to do about maybe 65 or so on the pinch for that one. And okay. Then we'll come in between the two extrudes here. Select an edge here and here. And then we'll also select an edge between each one of these. Okay, just like that. Do another ring and another connect. Okay, and for this one we'll take this up a little bit more. Let's do about 75 or so on the pinch for those. And okay. Then we'll come over on the side here. Let's uh, select an edge on the outside of this extrude. And let's just do this one at a time actually. Okay, so let's do a ring on that edge and a connect. So let's do one segment, no pinch. And we'll slide that closer to the uh, extrude. We'll do this negative 75 as well. And okay. Then we'll come up to the other side here. And do the same thing over here. Okay, negative 75. And okay. We'll also need one on the end. So we'll do a ring there and a connect. And we'll just take this closer. Let's do about negative 85 on that one, and OK. And then over to this end, ring and connect, and we'll do that the same, and OK. And then we'll also need ones here, OK. So we'll select an edge on the corner there and do a ring, OK, and that should go around all of your uh, extrudes, OK. Then we'll do another connect. We'll do two segments, no slide, and just pinch those out a bit. Okay, let's do maybe 40 on that one, and okay. And then we'll select an edge here. Okay, and do another ring. And that should also go all the way around. Okay, and then another connect. One segment, we'll just slide that up. Okay, just to get some support underneath the uh, extrusion here. Okay, we'll bring that up pretty tight. We'll probably do about 90 on that one. And okay. And I think that's all the support edges we need. Um, we don't have any along the bottom, but we can actually delete these bottom polygons. Okay, so let's go into Polygon. We'll go into the front view and select all the polys. And make sure you have Ignore Back Facing turned off. Okay. And then we'll just hold Alt and deselect everything but the bottom. Okay, so just make sure you only have the bottom selected, and then we can just delete that. Okay, and I think that's all the uh, support edges we need, and I know that was uh, a little bit tedious and a lot of edges to add, but uh, we need, really need to make sure this is supported to hold this shape. Okay, so we'll turn off Polygon. Let's go down and we'll put a Turbo Smooth on this, and we'll do two iterations and Ice Line, and we'll see if it looks okay. Okay, seems to be holding up pretty good. Doesn't look like we have any artifacts. And I think we got all the spar edges we need. Okay, so let's just uh, quickly center the pivot point on this piece. And let's uh, change the color to black. And we'll put the gray shader on there. Okay. And I'm just going to change the name to base corner. So that'll definitely be the hardest part of the entire launcher. Okay, so the next thing we'll do is start working on this plate uh, that that piece sits on. Okay, and this will be a little bit simpler. It's only uh, really got uh, one rounded corner. The rest of it's pretty much a box. Okay, so let's go into the top view. We'll zoom in on this corner piece. Let's go into the create panel again. We'll grab another box. Okay, let's just drag that out. Okay, we'll get a little bit of height. And let's see, let's do maybe 76 by 76. And we'll just do something like 2 for the height for now. Okay. And let's just uh, try to position it evenly. Okay. 
Okay, I'm just going to try to get a uh, somewhat even gap between the outside edge of this piece and the corner, or the edge of the box. Okay, just like that. And in the front view, we'll just move this down. Okay, to the bottom. And let's see. That might still be a little bit thick. Let's do uh, 1.5 on the height. Okay, and then we'll just slightly intersect it with the bottom. Okay, just like that. Okay, and this isn't going to be exactly the same as uh, the reference here, um, but we'll get it close. Okay, so let's see. Let's maybe pull this back just a slight bit. I might pull it back a slight bit this way too. Okay, just like that. Then we'll convert this to edible poly. Let's go into polygon or uh, edge, and we'll select this outside corner edge here. Okay, and let's do a chamfer on that. Okay, and we'll go up pretty high on this one. Let's do maybe 20. Okay, and we'll hit apply. Let's bring this down a bit more. Let's do maybe about seven or so on the second one and apply. Then we'll go a little bit lower. Okay. Let's do about 3.5 on the third one and then we'll do another one and we'll bring this down a little bit lower. Okay, we just want to even out these uh, edges as even as we can get them. Okay, so maybe let's do maybe 1.6 on the, the fourth one and okay. And I think that's close enough to the shape we're looking for. Okay, so let's go into polygon. We'll turn on ignore back face and let's select the top polygon and the bottom one. Then we'll uh, control click edge. All right, so we have the, all the edges around the top and bottom selected. And let's do a chamfer on these. Let's take this down a bit. Let's do maybe 0.25 and we'll hit apply and it will bring the, the uh, second one down a little bit more maybe about 0 0.09 and okay okay let's turn off ignore back facing here we'll select the corner edge and let's do a ring and a loop okay just to get all the uh, edges selected okay and we really don't need to have these front ones selected let me just change the color of this we don't really need to have any of these uh, front ones selected so in the top view we're just going to hold alt and just drag right through those. Okay. So we just have the uh, corner here, the back one, and the one on the other side select it. Okay, we'll chamfer these down just to round the corners off a bit. Let's do maybe 0.5 and hit apply, and we'll just bring that down a little bit more. Do about 0.2 on the uh, second one, and okay. Okay, and let's uh, put a smooth modifier on here. Okay, and we'll just hit auto smooth. Right. And let's just uh, name this, we'll just call this base corner plate. Okay, and we'll change the color. And put the gray shader on there. Okay, so just like that. Okay, and on the reference picture here, you can see we have some uh, bolts around the corner. And uh, these look pretty much just uh, smooth and round. And I don't really like the way that looks, so I think I'll just use one of our other bolts with six sides to uh, put these in. That also save us a little bit of time. Okay, so let's go over to the door maybe. We'll grab one of our bolts over there. All right. And in the top view, let's just hold shift and we'll drag a copy. Okay and choose copy and OK and then we'll just zoom in on it in the front view go to rotate turn on our snaps and we'll just rotate at 90 degrees okay and then we'll just move it down to our plate and we'll just line that up on the top edge okay and we might probably make this a little bit bigger so let's just zoom in here in the top view and we'll scale it up a little bit 
Okay, something like that. And we have about four on uh, each side here. All right, so in the top view, let's just move this over to the end. Okay, we'll just put it on the other side of this extrusion. Let's do it right about there. Okay, and then we'll hold shift and drag a copy to the other side. And let's do three and okay. We'll see how that looks. Okay, I think that's good. So let's select all four of these bolts. Okay, and then we'll go up to rotate. We'll hold shift. We'll just rotate and copy 90 degrees. And okay. And we'll just move these over here. Line them up the, the same way. Okay, just like that. And let's put a couple on the uh, sides here. Just to add some detail. Okay, and I'm actually thinking that our uh, corner piece here looks a little bit too thin uh, up and down. So let's see if we can just make it a little bit thicker. Um, let's go into the front view here. We'll select the uh, corner piece. Let's turn off the turbo smooth for a second. And then we'll go down into Edible Poly, go to Vertex. Okay, and let's just select the bottom verts, just the bottom row. Okay, so just be careful you don't get any of the uh, ones on the extrudes. Okay, just like that. And I think we'll just pull this down slightly just to make it a little bit thicker. Okay, maybe just like that. Okay, then we'll drag through all of our uh, piece here the bolts and the plate and then we'll just deselect that corner piece so we just have the the uh, plate and bolts select it we'll just move that down a little bit okay just leave it intersecting the surface slightly and we'll probably have to make some adjustments to uh, the position of these later on anyways but I think that'll look a little bit better so we'll select that piece and we'll turn our turbo smooth back on okay and if your uh, viewports are lagging or anything uh, because of the poly count uh, you can just actually turn off the turbo smooth iterations in the viewports and just put them on at render time, okay? And then it'll just uh, render them uh, with the turbo smooth on, but you won't have to have it lagging in the viewports, okay? So let's keep that in mind if yours is getting slow. All right, so we'll go over here and select this end bolt. Oops, there we go. Okay. And in the top view here, I'm going to go to rotate. And I'm just going to hold shift and we'll just rotate it. Okay, 90 degrees. And okay. And then we'll just push it back here onto the uh, side. All right, and we'll just move it up. And we'll just position it somewhere there. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. Let me move it over a bit. Let's do two. Okay, just like that. Then we'll go uh, into, let's see, the left view here, and we'll just rotate that a little bit just so it doesn't look too uh, perfect. We'll do this one as well. Just give that a little bit of random rotation. Okay, and you can do the same thing on these uh, plates if you want. Just rotate them uh, a little bit so it doesn't look too perfect. Okay, so let's go over here. These bolts look a little too big, I think, so let's just scale this one down just a bit. A little bit more. Okay, and I'm just going to delete that other copy we have there. And we'll just shift drag this over again. Okay, just like that. Okay, and then we'll select both of them, and we'll just shift drag them over to the other end, and choose copy, and OK, and then we'll just rotate them 9 degrees, and just put them in uh, against the side there, All right, just like that. Okay. Okay. 
And you can add some additional ones underneath here if you really want to. So I think that's all we'll do on the corner for now and we'll start working on the rest of this uh, upper base part here and uh, then we'll come back and we'll add in all this uh, wire detail um, and everything else and the, the lower base if we uh, have enough time to do all this. Okay, And I think we should.